Hi everybody, today I want to show you this solar powered flood line that I just got. It comes in this box and as you can see it's called Umi right here. There's two in the box. They come very well protected like this. Comes with the mountain brackets and the hardware that you will need. Comes obviously with two hardware sets and two mountain bright brackets. Um, they're really easy to put in, whether you're doing it to the wall itself or to wood, it comes uh, prepared for both of them. So this is the light. It has the, the mountain right here, the mount. So um, you can have it uh, straight to the wall right here like this. Let me just put it on the side right here. So you can mount it straight to the wall like that or again with the bracket and you can put it on whatever angle you want. So you can adjust it. Um, again you can put it basically any way you want. Solar panel right here and the lights. Uh, what is good is the lights will move and you can put them in so that it does a whole 360 and uh, again you can uh, adjust it if you want to put it down more and you still keep the solar panel uh, any way you want. Now I have the hardware for wood but it also comes for concrete in case you want to attach it to your outside wall. So I'm just going to put the base So now to attach the light is very simple. It has the base right here that you would uh, slide here and then it will click. And that's it. That's as easy as it gets. And then you can adjust it any way you want, as well as the solar panel. You can adjust it uh, for whatever your needs are. I will record later on tonight when the light is down and I'll show you how bright it is. <clears throat> this two right here are the sensors. So when you cover those sensors, I don't know if we'll do it like this. I'll have to turn off the light. But when you cover the sensors, the light will come on. Let me see if it does it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but I have too much light here. But it is. I think. Yeah, it won't stay long, but it is, again, because of the light in the studio. But it is very bright. And, you know. And it doesn't take very long to charge. I mean, again, it's during the day, so I left it out all day long, and then it lasts pretty much all night. Um, I have not only dogs, but there's raccoons, sometimes bears in the backyard, and this comes on every single time there's any movement, cats. So every time there is movement, it comes on, it's very bright, and it shows, not only scares the animal, but if I'm inside the house, I can see the brightness, so I know that there is movement. And not too concerned because I know there are animals, but if you are in an area where security is an issue or you don't have that many animals and you know something is going on when the lights up. Um, and because there are LEDs, all of them, it is very, very bright. And I'm gonna, when I'm done here, I'm going to uh, turn off the studio lights and turn it on so you can see it. And there are two of them and in a package. And well, it's very easy. It, ha it comes with the instructions. It has a little switch in the back so you can uh, turn it on with the sensor, without the sensor. Um, leave them on the whole time and you put, again without the sensor is on the whole time or just on with the sensor or just off that even with the sensor it won't turn on. Um, 
but again, because it's so bright here, it won't come on. So I'm very happy. Like I said, it's very bright. I'm gonna turn off the lights as much as I can. It's still daylight, so the light is coming out through the window, but I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna turn off the lights and see what happens. So again, as you can see, I already turned all, all the lights in the studio off, but I'm still getting light from the window. So unfortunately, it won't stay on, not dark enough. But as you can see, when it comes on, it's very powerful. So I hope you guys like it and find it as useful as I am. And I'll show you how the sensors also easily pick up any movement around. They're very, very sensitive. So I'll be back.